Okay, this is my Sterling Cocan engine, and this will be a little how to video about how to make a Cocan Sterling engine. I will um, provide you with a link to the website that I used to help me make this, and I would recommend using that for the individual steps, you know, step by step process. I'll be talking how, about how I made it, and um, I'll, I don't know, give a few pointers, but the, the main resource should probably be the website that I used because it was very helpful. Um, this is a Sterling cocaine engine and it uses heat which comes from candles that you would put inside this heating tin. Um, the heat travels through these holes into the bottom of my cup here and it heats up this canister which this is the pressure, va the pressure valve. Inside that is um, steel wool wrapped around a still wire um, that is roughly the shape of the coke can. It's, it's about half as tall as the coke can, so see it goes up to about there. And what that does is that's connected to this fishing wire right here, and that goes up and down inside the can as the balloon expands and, and contracts. So you can see here that um, The, the coke, so the way it works is it, it, the canister heats up and this pink thing here is a balloon stretched out over the top of the coke can. That, as the, as the project, see as the piston, which is there, sp spins up and down, the balloon contracts and detracts because of the heat inside the, the canister. Um, that is basically how it works. Um, the 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 first so we'll start off with kind of how I made it. What you start with is you're gonna need all the supplies, which will be found on the website that I will provide that I, that I did not make but that I used. You're gonna need two or three, maybe I used probably four or five coke cans just because I broke a few of them while I was making them. And um, the first step of the entire process is to cut the bottoms off the coke cans. I don't know if you can see, but this is obviously two coke cans put together. I cut the bottom off of this, and then you can see here I cut the inside, or the, the lid off of it. I just used um, this tool knife to do all of that work. And um, you need to do you need to cut the bottom off of two cans and cut the inside of the lid out of two cans and then you're gonna make this viewing window which I did I did all of that just by using the knife and then see you can see how this is a pretty smooth cut here and here at the bottom I did that with I just I cut the I cut it with a knife and then I used scissors to trim it up so um, the the next thing you'll need to do after you've cut, while you're cutting those, you, you can probably get this bottom part. See, this is the bottom of a coke can lid, so that's why you'll need three or four. I cut the bottom off the coke can lid, then you put that in upside down, and it, see this is, see that, it, it causes the pressure, this to be airtight. 